Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel here. Another unboxing. We're going to be continuing with the gate ruler uh, booster box openings uh, that I started in the previous video and uh, got a couple of other items that I came across when I uh, did a little bit of ordering from uh, Amazon Japan and uh, not entirely gate ruler related but let's see here. For example I got the in this big order that I did, uh, or relatively big order here, um, I got the th the three light novels for Kara no Kyokai, or Garden of Sinners, depending on your point of view there. Yeah, the three of them. Um, let's see here. Got a Super Robot Wars T uh, strategy guide here, perfect guide. Um, of course, the, the, the packaging for my particular package there, of course, if you want to use that particular word. Um, yeah, it led to the little, the little uh, slip, not cover, but the little thing that you could, can see on a lot of different uh, Japanese books and whatnot. Though the book itself wasn't damaged, it got, got kind of ripped on the back there, so I'm just going to... Yeah, that's, it's okay there, I need it for the review or something I'm going to be doing here. Um, let's see here. What else did I get? Uh, two Queen's Blade uh, Grimoire. Um, books to round out some stuff in my collection. I got Alicia and Zara. So in other words, you've got uh, Alice in Wonderland and uh, the, the, whatchamacallit, the uh, Red Riding Hood. I'm not going to open these up because uh, these are, um, uh, the, the, if you know anything about Queen's Blade, then you probably know the reason why I'm not going to be opening them. Or showing anything on camera there. But what I did was, I got a couple of different sleeves here. I got something for, uh, what is it that once again? Yeah, Isekai Quartet. And just some Uzaki chan sleeves because why not? But <clears throat> the main ones I got these three for this uh, one series that came out called Grand Belm. Uh, it was Magical Girl with Chibi Mechs or whatnot. Uh, it's, it was an okay series, but um, uh, these were only like a buck fifty or something. And they gave them how many sleeves are in here? Uh, they were normal, normal size sleeves from Magic the Gathering, Gate Ruler, and all that, but almost 65 sleeves. So for about a buck fifty, I got, or this should be a total of what, like what, uh, 450? I got like, mm, something like 240 sleeves, or no, 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 uh, almost 200 sleeves. So, um, but the main thing is, you're wondering what the heck, what, what does that have to do with Gate Ruler? Well, what we're going to be doing, what I did was I also ordered the, the card catalog, the official card catalog. Um, has two promo cards in it and whatnot. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit probably at the end of the video. But what's kind of interesting is that uh, I don't know if it was just simply because of ordering this or anything else. I'm not sure, but I actually got the demo deck, which was surprising when I opened it up. So the official got. Well, okay, it does. Okay, it does come with a guidebook. I'm sorry, I should have read a little more. Um, yeah, the official guidebook uh, attached a demo deck. So, if you buy the card catalog here, you can get the demo deck in Japanese. I haven't opened it, so we'll go ahead and open up. But there is something a bit surprising in here. I'm not sure if many people know it. Maybe some people do know it, and it's just me. Uh, but uh, there is something very surprising, so we'll keep that to the end of the video. But what you really come here for is these unboxings of these. Uh, remaining promo cards right here and of course the two remaining booster boxes so here and here so I'm not going to do it since their first video was like an hour long and just uh, consisted of me rambling on about different things and not knowing what I was doing sort of kind of around that kind of thing see see how I'm rambling on anyway what I'm going to do is I will actually open up uh, the boxes, but I'm not going to go over the the commons or anything like that. I'm going to open them up and then what I'll do is I'll flip them over and I'll just pull out the, the rear card, which is going to be a, a, either the rare or the foil. Just put it in a pile and then we'll just go on over those because it'll be a lot faster. So um, here's my scissors. If you haven't seen my unboxing videos before, and you probably have, but you know what, just in case anyone just decides to look at this video out of the blue, um, if you're going to be using uh, scissors make sure you use them safely so if you just give me a moment here i am going to open up these two boxes and take care of business so just a moment all 
Okay, I've pulled out the wrapping here, and like I said, what I'm gonna do is, I'll open up all of the, the packs and just take a look at the foils and whatnot, but what I'm going to do is, when I open these boxes here, I'm gonna try not to look to see what the legend card is, and I wanna put that face down as well, just so that we can all basically find out together. So, just give me a moment, we'll go ahead and do that. So everyone, as you can see, I have uh, taken the last card out of the packs there, and I put all the commons on over here, you can probably see here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to flip over the top card of uh, this particular stack here. Of course, it's going to be a mixture of foil and non-foil cards, but it allows us to avoid all the commons once again, and just get to the meat of the video here. And I seem to have misplaced my card sleeve, so I'm gonna have to find something else to sleeve them up with in case I get that uh, uh, Rue Barrera whatnot. So, the first one for this video is going to be, is going to be, oh, it's going to be her again. This is the first one I got in the previous video as well here. So, I mean, uh, it's good art. I'm not really complaining about it. Um, and let's see here. Oh, and uh, there's an overdrive effect. Uh, and it's counters use the overdrive effect and basically uh, you choose an enemy unit in a defense zone and destroy it. Okay, so what's the next one going to be? It's going to be... Ha! Okay, this is just... Oh, that's it. Maybe I went wrong somewhere? Got another... Uh, the uh, What? Got another Gui Bear of Whales or however it's supposed to be pronounced there. And these commons are probably going to be in the way, so let's go ahead and move those out of the way there. And go ahead and put them up here. The next one's going to be... It's going to be Sergeant Major of the Army, Buster Kong! Not bad part of the uh, Wild Force. And yeah, 532 and uh, his touchdown effect, which of course is going to be used by knights at the moment and their ilk is a choose an enemy unit and do four damage to it. And his counter is actually use that effect. So what's the next one here is going to be? This one, okay. Uh, next is, did I, I, did I not put one of the packs in there? Oh, we got a backpacker. Good, 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 let's see here. Yeah, Tayoke, uh, the, the sun, backpacker of the sun, something like that. Um, oh, and this is the one where, uh, let's see here. Normal, uh, oh yeah, send, uh, destroy one of your cards. Destroy one of your cards in play, and then you can play this, you can normal summon this card from your damage zone. Then you take a damage. Next is going to be Flying Shield. And another Gachi Horror, as you can use, if you've seen the previous video, that's one I grabbed there too. So far I'm getting, it's not looking good there, I'm getting duplicates of the ones that, uh, technically not ones that I really, really want, but, well, let's see. Got, ooh, we got the, <clears throat> the Millennium Sakuras, which is, is one, this is actually a very great card. Uh, as normal is, uh, look at the top three cards of your deck and drive one of them. Then put all the rest of the cards at the bottom of your deck. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with getting that one. And a Buster Arm. And uh, we got a uh, we got a Victor. It's it's actually not a bad card. Not exactly what I was looking for. Um, this one is a yeah. What the heck is that? Sweep shot. Uh, when this attacks, uh, choose an enemy unit and do two damage to it. So. Um, Sort of like a, a lower powered version of the uh, Honoikatsuchi, I think it is. So next is going to be Becky! We got Becky. Hey, This is, uh, I believe it's the same artist as this one here. Yeah, yep. I always thought it was pretty neat here. Uh, that was a nice pose and everything. You see the gun going off the top of the border. Uh, let's see here. 
Takanan Janaino. Uh, let's see here. Uh, when your opponent plays a event card from their hand or from play, um, you can normal summon this card. You can normal summon this card uh, without uh, taking up your summon limit. You do have to pay the cost though. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's see what this one's going to be. Oh, another one of those. I'm just wondering if I accidentally put, uh, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. Oh, we got another Kamigakari. Oh, we got that last one, last video. This is, uh, oh God. that's just normal. It's going to be a, another Shadow of Hades. Well, we're getting double the certain things and I would like to get some different card deal plan. Anyway. And, ooh, Gasha Dokudo, which is probably one of the most resilient cards in the game because uh, when you overdrive it, and of course for apprentices, uh, basically, um, they call it Soul Guard here, uh, but what you do is you take the top two cards you deck, put it in this card's Soul, Charges, Charge Shield, whatever they're going to be call it in the English version, and then uh, each time it gets destroyed, instead of being destroyed itself, you have to remove one of those charges, and it basically heals itself. So you got to almost kill it off three times, which is it's a, it's a pretty good card. Next is... Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's a ta 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 ja. But um, if I'm going to be tossing it in a deck, uh, there's no reason not to have two of them. Be excited about that. Ooh, oh, another Destiny Sword, which is not bad, not bad. But uh, once again, it's a duplicate of what I got last time. Next is uh, just going to be the Ark. Next is. Uh, Paula. Okay, so uh, I can start uh, maybe on that Genesis Summon deck. And this is... Uh, oh, and here's another uh, forest uh, for the beasts, since I'll be attempting to make a beast deck. I am happy about that. And... Oh, oh, Captain! Oh my god! And this is the one... This is the legend uh, that you get out of the set, because apparently is when you open up a box and not only do you get this random legend, you also get a legend out of it. I mean, I don't know if it's guaranteed or not, but so far it seems to be in the previous box that I opened, I got that, what was it, that one, um, <clears throat> I don't know, what that big wave thing that was uh, meteor, whatever the heck it was, it was very, very bright. But Captain, oh my god, and his overdrive effect is um, going to be uh, choose an enemy unit and destroy it, and his counter is to use that effect. So not bad if you're going to be playing a red deck. So we got we're getting we're getting down on cards here. So let's see what else happens. And uh, what is that? Uh, let's see here, black hole and guns and gold, which is which is not bad, not bad because if I'm going to be building that effect damage deck, I'll need that. Next is whoops, sorry I didn't see what both of those were. Uh, another flying shield and uh, the soldier. Okay. So we're getting slow, we're getting down here. We're getting down to the last couple of cards here. We're gonna get that uber rare. Oh, okay, we've got another Shiori, which is going to be good for the um, Genesis summoning. Come on, where's that uber rare? It's going to be, that's uh, a tank. And next is going to be another Rampart Elephant. That's another one that I got. So I'm getting a lot of duplicates that I got from last time, but uh, I'm not giving up hope about that Alice, and uh, maybe I got an, uh, an uber rare Alice, which would be nice. Let's see here, and no. So yoink! Uh, another white bone princess. Not entirely bad, but yeah, looking for something different. Yoink! Sphinx. Yoink! Got this, and. That's kind of strange. Uh, did I did I get? I don't think I got the uber rare. Let's take a look. Let's yeah. Let's just pull it up and see what happens. Uh oh! This is the I believe the secret rare version of um, Magvarius. Wow. Yeah. And and even though it's on its side, it's not actually an event card. Yeah, this is a, a big bruiser in the game. Where is this? 
Where are his stats? Oh no, this is an event. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is an event. Is this, an Uber? Is this the Uber Rare? I think it is. Um, let's see here. Legend. Uh, this is Magvarius and Ogulkar. Hell Flames of Magvarius. I don't know what it'll be in English. This will be um, as a counter. Um, choose an enemy unit in an attack zone and destroy it. Wow. And as use time as normal and playing this is like, well, uh, destroy all level two or lower enemy units in attack zones. Wow. Okay, so I think this is my uber rare. I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, what I could do is I could crack open that card catalog and find out. But um, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that, but still no Alice, which is if I'm going to be playing a blue heavy deck, I would like to have, you know, at least two of those, but I've not gotten two of them out of the two box. I haven't gotten a single one of them out of the two boxes. So, well, can't win them all. So let's put this here and then let's see what the legend card is. Let's put these on here because these are technically rares as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, three, two, one, and sh I kind of figured, I kind of figured, I kind of figured I would get up because what? as soon as I got that legend card for Captain Oh My God here, I said, you know what? My luck is I'm probably gonna get it as the pack in or sorry, box topper legend card. Oh, oh well, oh well, oh well. So let's see if my luck will be a little bit better with the promo pack. So, so I got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I've got nine left. So what I'm gonna do is that I'll open up four of them, then we'll go into the other box, and then we'll open up the rest of the promo. So let's go with this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So that should be five left, right? One, two, three, four, five, yes. Let's go ahead and put those aside there. Um, and once again here, what did we get last time? The False Moon, Yamata no Orochi, and that one Wyvern Dragon thing that can't be a, can't be hit by effect damage. So let's go ahead and see what we get for promos. Um, yeah, come on. So, oh yeah, I want to turn it this way. So once again, if you don't know, the, there's just one card in here. There are a total of five promos you can get. So let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's do the same thing we did before. Just to, So we're gonna take that out and this one out. I guess they're upside down then? Hmm. There. And we're gonna do, well, unfortunately I opened up this one. I got another one. I got another one of it. Yeah, come on, give me something that I don't have. Give me something I don't have. And this one is going to be, really? Well, I got a play set, which is, Great, I guess. It's the next one here, and another Yamato no Orochi, and the last one's going to be okay. Well, this is a new one we did not get. So, what are the uh, armor troopers? Uh, Elkanius. So it's touchdown effect, uh, which of course once again uh, for night. Uh, Real cannon. Choose an enemy unit and do two damage to it. Hmm, so it's a two cost, three, three, two, not too bad. So if you're going to be attacking with this guy, technically he could be a five, three, two, if you're gonna be running into the same enemy unit. Um, eh, I, I, but when you combine this with something like guns and gold and that, you, know, you can increase the damage, which is can actually be a little bit frightening. So, geez, a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed in this particular one here, but um, hey, we, as I said, can't win them all. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go go ahead and open up this second box and then we're just going to rinse and repeat what we did before. So hang on a moment.
Okay, everyone, well, we're set up, so let's take a look at the second booster box here and see what we get. Here's our one other card there. So, first is going to be. Okay, Daring Troopers, which is not bad. Um, another power. Okay, so I can. I have a. Not exactly a playset just yet, but I can do better with doing a Genesis summon deck. Next is going to be another horror. Well, two or two of stuff that I already have. So, let's see what the next one is. It's going to be guards. Oh, we got another. I can't read it. I'm just going to put up put up what the name is on the screen. We got one of those during our first box in the first video. And, okay, we've got another one there. Well, I'm a shorty, so I guess Genesis Summoning is going to be a thing that I can do. But I need a playset, which means I'm going to need four of them. So, uh, let's see here. Um, another Destiny Sword. It's going to be another White Bone Princess. Um, another Becky. So, I'm pr pretty, pretty much probably going to see all the probably have like all the cards almost already I'm not sure next is going to be warm was it uh, black hole sorry not wormhole another big owl so I can do a bit with a wild horse I guess Ooh, and I got another dioctol which is uh, if I want to do everyday crime I can then another guns and gold and oh well, um yeah uh the one that lets you draw two cards. Another elephant, thank you. Uh, of course I want the elephant, I don't want anything else. So far, uh, I've gotten most of this stuff here is everything that I've picked up in the first box, except for Becky, which I got in the second box. So, doink! Uh, oh, Magic Blaster, which is going to be the one that does uh, choose an enemy unit and do three damage to it. Technically, if you really think about it, Magic the Gathering. So one cost to do three damage to an enemy. It's almost like a lightning bolt. Next is another Captain Oh My God. That's my legend in here. Dang it. Dang it. So, well, here's an arc. Then, yoink, and uh, Mr. Shigo. We explained that in the first video. The Tony Joe! Okay, okay, whatever. I've already done that joke twice. So. Oh, this is going to be every, let's see, <clears throat> everyday crime. This is going to be another Mr. Sheeple. And uh, what's his name? The uh, Shadow Raker. As I recall, I got that at the first box. And next is, yoink, that's going to be, I can't read it. Kokush, Koka, uh, not Shibuya. Ah, I don't know. It doesn't have any Furigana. And my Japanese language skills have suffered in the last 14 years. Um, finally, finally, we get an Alice. Now, I'd like to see if we get an uber rare one. That would be that would be a bit hilarious. Um, but I'm happy to finally get one of those. In the th it took three boxes. Quick. Oh, and this is the shuttle. No, but the, some of the uh, anyway. Quick. Ooh, I got, oh, I got the big guy that combines here. I got one of them. I don't think I got one in the other box there, so yeah. So a couple of them can actually sort of combine into this thing here. Um, drink. Well, I got a Sphinx, which is, I'm, I'm not too terribly disappointed with the Sphinx because it is a beast, and um, using the beast deck uh, might be something because it also has Retaliate. You know, as we, as I erroneously said in the first video, but then corrected myself, was if this is attacked and not destroyed, then it does its damage to the attacking enemy uh, unit. So, which is not bad for a 3 4. Um, so, you might, and if you put it in the defense zone at the start of the game, you're almost guaranteed to do some damage, or at least make your opponent think about attacking. Anyway, it's back to the. Yoink! Oh, a zap, zap, zap. Probably one of the foremost damage dealers in the game. Which is, you know, it's an instant. Costs three, but you do... Uh, we can choose one or more enemy units and spread six damage among them. Whoops. Wrong area. Let's put it up there. Next is going to be... Yoink! Oh, and I... 
we got this during the first box. So, this is a Genesis summon thing. So, maybe I should think about making a Genesis summon deck. So, next, we got another, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Space Journalist Crystal. We got that out of, the, out of the first box. So, we've got, we've got a mere four cards left. So, let's see what we get. And, yoink! It's gonna be another black hole. Yoink! Disaster. And we've got two left. I don't think we've seen that Uber Rare yet. So, yoink! Ooh, Schrodinger's Cat. Sorry, Schrodinger's Cat. Schrodinger's Cat. Um, yeah, it allows you to basically mm, counter. Uh, you exchange uh, positions. Uh, it's counter is to exchange position of a card in your. Uh, graveyard and in your damage zone, but when you actually play it, because it's a normal timing, um, choose a card in your damage zone uh, and without paying its cost or and also ignoring normal summon limits, play that card. Uh, hmm. uh, oh, okay. Oops, it goes here. One last card. Is it going to be the Yoink? So didn't I get an Uber Rare out of this particular box? I am not sure. I am not sure unless I actually went through, forgot to include a card or so. I don't think any of this. So let's go ahead and take a look to see if I might have missed it. No, it looks like I might have gotten skunked on a... I'm going to have to take a look just to make sure. Maybe I'll go through and after I'm you know, editing this video, I can probably see if I actually got one or not, and I'm just not looking at it well enough. I'm, I'm not sure. And then again, I don't think there was an actual guarantee that there was an uber rare or secret rare out of a box, but... Figure that out. Okay, so let's see. Because I don't think I accidentally put it over here, did I? No. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this. Let's have. Let's not have another Captain. Oh my God, or anything like that. It's, there are only what six legends in this particular set. So, so I got. Yoink. Ah. Okay. I got. Um, I forgot what is how you pronounce his name. Um, but. This particular guy is kind of nifty. He's one of the heroes in the game there. Um, his counters uses OD effect. And his effect right here is both a touchdown and an OD. And it, uh, do, do, what is it? Do, he's a, he's a kind of gate ruler already. Um, yeah. Uh, choose one card from your deck. Shuffle your deck and put the chosen card on top. So if this comes up as a counter when you take damage, you're almost guaranteed uh, the next card of yours is going to be a counter. But it also depends on, of course, if your opponent's still attacking for the turn or you're still taking more damage. So if this is the last card that pops up and you know your opponent can't attack anymore or anything like that, then you can go ahead and fetch the card that you need. However, if you're still taking damage, you want to put a counter on top, you know, maybe something that will obliterate some of your opponent's stuff, which is, okay, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about that, but I'm still not entirely happy out here. <laughs> Here, and the card right on top is uh, him right there. So, okay, so let's go ahead and put that aside there. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but disappointment is a way of life. Okay, so let's see if we can get the uh, remaining promo that we need out of this five just to complete the little set here. We're going to get a uh, another Lucanius. Um, you like another Lucanius? So we got three left here. Let's see what we get. And another False Moon. I'm beginning to hate this card. 
being to hate this card. And next is going to be the dragon. And oh, come on, let's get let's get something kind of good here. Yep, there we go. We got all five promos. This one is um, Insanium Machine. Two cost, four, three, one. It's a eraser and a ro robot. And its OD effect is uh, Dimension Tempest. Choose an enemy unit and move it to an open. Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, and uh, move it to an open um, zone. So in other words, if it's in a defense, if you if you want to get that attack through uh, to the defense zone, what you can do is you can play this and say, I want to move that from your defense zone into your attack zone. Once again, it has to be an open zone. Okay, we've got all the promos, which is not bad there. I, I would have liked to have had more of these here instead of more of the frickin' false moons, but... Uh, well, it's... Like I said, can't... Can't win them all, can't get everything. You know, the disappointment of the fact of life. When the facts of life are all about you. Anyway, so... Let me go ahead and move these out of the way, because... Uh, the last thing that I wanted to do was cover this card catalog that we got. So, put that there, and... So, first of all, let's go ahead and just take a look at this. I'm not going to actually open, open the decks because, I mean, I think everyone's actually seen the demo decks at one point. That's kind of nice how they did that with the, what, two or two pieces of cardboard. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the demo decks here. And there's your World Master Alpha and probably betas in there as well. Um, at least I hope it is. Um, let's see if I can put this back how it's supposed to be now. I'll we'll probably have to do it like this, like so. And yeah, let's do it that way. That like that, and that like that, and it goes together like a wonderful, wonderful puzzle like the ones you see people solving on YouTube, and I can't puzzle my way out of the paper bag. What? I'm going to set that aside and just do, I'm going to put it back in later on. So, I'll move that here. Um, so, this is the official card catalog here. As you can see, what it'll do is that um, it uh, covers all of the cards in the first set. It also comes with two promotional cards. Now, what these are is that um, they're not promos and that you can only get them out of this particular book. It's actually sort of an advanced uh, preview card, two of them, same one, from set two. So if you don't pick them up in this book, you can get them in the second set. I don't know what kind of rarity they're going to be. I don't even know what rarity they are in here. Are they foil? Are they just uh, normal cards? I don't know. Um, but I did look through the book uh, when it came in, like yesterday, the day before, or something like that, and it does give you, you know, the art at the background uh, on the world and everything like that. Um, the one thing that I noticed that, and I wasn't, I'm not a very perceptive guy, so I'm just looking through this book like it's nothing or anything like that. Uh, just going, going through, oh, this is nice. It's going to give you all the rules for the game, some examples of some timing stuff, what all the st stats do. They do give you, uh, let's see here. They'll give you uh, the spread of what all the rulers do in this first set. And then they'll give you some decks, uh, deck recipes. Like this one right here is going to be uh, the the, what, the Yolkai and Giant Robo deck. The one, you know, this is an enhanced version of that. So once you buy the Ro uh, Yolkai and Robo deck, get some extra cards and they'll teach you how to uh, power up that particular deck. And similarly with the um, the Abyss Summon deck, uh, they introduce additional cards into your deck to power it up and everything. And they've got a couple of different ones here, and it tells you the key points, what cards to look out for. Um, here's the interesting thing. Here's the card list. Now, why am I stopping on this particular page? Uh, no, I just want to say that, once again, I'm not a very perceptive guy. So I'm just going through, flipping through the book, just seeing one, you know, cards and stuff like that, and then everything like that. But um, what I noticed was, after like the second look through this book, is that not only does it have the text in English and uh, in, in Japanese, it also has it in English. So it has the card names in English, 
along with the text in English. Unfortunately, that's not all of the cards that are actually in. Uh, it doesn't have translations for all the cards. For example, if you might be able to see here, the rulers don't have any English text. Um, but uh, let's see here. They do have the name in English, but the text is just just remains in Japanese. And also the promotional cards aren't translated either. But it gives you uh, gives you all the cards in the first uh, as here. So starting with the uh, Yokai and Giant Robo deck, and then it gives you the other starter deck, and then it gives you the first set here, and then I think the demo decks are in here as well. But very, very interesting here. I'm just trying to figure out where. Yeah, I'm just. I want to see something here. Um. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah, well, I'll have to go look through here to see if I. I got that secret rare Magvarius Flames or whatever the heck it was. I'm gonna have to take a look to see all that. But um, anyway, um, this was only I think it was like 12, 12 bucks, 15 bucks or something like that. I really wish I would have gotten that. Um, but if you get the demo deck, especially if you're in Japan, you just that's very it's a very interesting thing. They basically give you a starter deck with the book. In other words, for you to learn how to play. So if you and another friend bought the book, you got the, the demo decks, you could play with them. Um, so, once again, here is all, you know, once again, you know, all the cards from the first set. And he, oh, here is, here is this, here is the secret card. This is the one that I pulled out of the box there. And that is the Blazing Judgment of Magvarius. So, yeah, choose one enemy unit, attack zone, and destroy it. Timing, standard action. Destroy all enemy units of level 2 or less. There's some extra text. Uh, they have an extra colon in there, and I should remove that. Anyway, um, here are the promotional cards. For example, this one was from a pre This is a pre release, I believe it is. This is from the high rarity pack. This you could get at the, uh, the one event that they had there. And uh, this is out of this book. This and this one. And these ones were out of those foil packs that I opened up there. And of course they also give you a, a sleeves here. And here's the high rarity pack version. The high rarity pack, all the cards are foil from what I recall. Um, so, but I really don't know if I wanna pay like almost, what is it? $200 a box or something like that. I'll put the, the price here uh, in the, at the bottom of the screen, but um, yeah, wow. Wow. Whoa! Um, yeah, and this is here. And there's a Magvarius, you know, foil, but <coughs> pardon me. Okay. And here is uh, the, the two promo cards or, you know, the advanced Cards here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I don't cut into the cards or whatnot. So I am going to, and there is an actual. Uh, if you can't really see it, there's an actual place to cut. So I'm going to attempt to do this as carefully as possible. Okay. See, so is that enough to pull out a card? Let's see, no, it's not quite enough. Let's go ahead and cut it a little more. Okay, so let's go ahead and, is it just a regular card or foil? Nope, it is just a regular card. So yeah, once again, it's the Black Knight, the Hog. It's a one cost, two, 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 and um, uh, it does have Pierce and uh, it gets plus one attack for each black knight in your graveyard. So let's go ahead and try and pull this other one out without damaging anything. Okay, so we got the two, two promo cards from that. So uh, overall, I guess I am satisfied with the stuff that we got not entirely satisfied but I guess overall 
that was not a, not a bad box or anything like that. Um, so, well, uh, I guess it's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully this one was a lot shorter than the previous one. Uh, hopefully it was worth your time to actually listen into or watch the particular video. Maybe you had it on in the background, kind of thing like that. Um, so hopefully you will tune into the next video that I have in the future here. So once again, thank you for watching this uh, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you may be tuning in. And we'll see you in the next video, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.